Hey, what's up guys? I'm um, coming to you with another Build a Squad video. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, feedback on the last one, so uh, th thank you for all of that. Uh, today I'm um, focusing on Kir Kanas. So uh, I've got a couple ideas, so hopefully we get something successful out of it. Here it goes. Alright, here he is, Kir Kanas, the subject of our build. Uh, I kind of like this pilot, but he's definitely got some key drawbacks. He, he doesn't have an elite pilot skill. Um, you know, you can't uh, can't really give him any of the real fancy new stuff. So you're stuck relying on a guy who's got a bil an ability that's nice. You know, to be able to uh, spend an evade token to add a hit to your roll, not an attack die, but an automatic hit. Uh, so that's awesome. And uh, unless it's been errated, I believe you can. Uh, you can roll your dice first and then decide if you want to spend the token or not because I'm obviously not going to spend my evade and add a hit well, unless I know I'm not getting shot again but I'm probably not going to spend add a hit to my roll if uh, if I roll all blanks so but it all depends on whether or not I'm going to get shot so how are we going to help this guy uh, I look at him as somebody who needs some support because he's only got one action per turn I can't give him push the limit or anything like that. So I'm thinking Hellrunner is my first thing to support him. I think Hellrunner would be excellent support. He's more like he gets an automatic reroll. He's not going to be able to focus. The Empire doesn't currently have anybody who can pass him focus. So um, <clears throat> after Revelations comes out, it's going to change everything. But Kirkinos and Hellrunner, now that by itself. Sets us to uh, 42 points, which is about half my build already. Um, somebody else who can use some help, I was thinking, is Rixlar Brath. Um, Rixlar Brath would work with this. Um, he would be able to, he's got a similar ability to Kirkinos, he's got to save his focus. Uh, and so not use it to attack, but he has to inflict, you know, major damage without using his focus. So it's you know, he, it's a possibility. I mean, he won't get as much help from Hellrunner. I mean, you get three. Hellrunner's design works best with swarms because she's rerolling half their dice. But still, one out of three ain't bad. Uh, especially if you roll two hits and a blank, then it works perfectly. So the only problem is I'd have to fly them all in formation. And he's best as a dogfighter. So this could work. But the problem there is that puts me up to 79 points which is enough for another ship or upgrades but not really much of both uh, if i'm going to go another ship i'm going to go cheap uh well, i'm going to my favorite tie i don't like going with the the basic ties is uh is black squadron and because they have the elite pilot skill and now i would normally give black squadron predator but being that I have Hellrunner, I'll consider giving him help maneuver so I can break him off and fly him away and he can be a flanker. Um, so all together now I've got 18 plus 37 plus 17. That gives me a 96 point. So then I have four points floating. <clears throat> I can go with uh, shield upgrade on Kirkanos because I do want him to stay alive if he's the, center, the focus of the build. Um, you know, I can add a missile. I can add uh, I, proton rockets would actually be really good on this guy once they come out, but because he, does, he gets doesn't have to use his uh, focus and just needs to have it to lock on. Or I could add I could give Hellrunner the uh, squad leader to pass extra actions, so I could potentially on Kirkanos or Rexlar Breath. Um, I could sacrifice Hellrunner's action and give one of them you know, a, a focus on top of, like, maybe he'll target lock and focus, or maybe he'll evade and focus. So that's an idea. Um, but that would only be two. I was thinking for a minute about maybe getting targeting computer somewhere, but because it's a cheap upgrade, it's only two points, but I don't want to put that on Kirkanas because ideally, every turn I should be evading. Um, <clears throat> so there was that, but I definitely don't like having Rexlar Breath in there because... Um, if if you follow me, I don't I don't really care for the predator. Um, I mean, the defender rather. I love predator. Big slip of the tongue. I don't really care for that. 
So what if I threw in Fel's Wrath in place of him? I'd have a little more points for some extra stuff. I could do in a second Black Squadron, perhaps. Let's, uh... Fel's Wrath was another run. The reason I put it in here is somebody suggested uh, I shouldn't try to include Fel's Wrath in a build. And he's, he's difficult because he, uh... His ability is not very good. He's probably one of the worst pilot abilities out there. Uh, and he doesn't have elite pilot skill. Uh, he's low pilot skill, so... One good thing, the good, only good thing I can say about Fel's Wrath is if I were going to fly these guys, I'd want to keep Kirkenos back because he's best at range 2 and 3, and I could fly Fel's Wrath up front, you know, bump, maybe bump, or get him into the range 1 shot and keep Kirkenos in the back. Uh, in this way, I, I know he's going to die. I don't mind putting him up front and letting him take range 1 shots because he's going to get to shoot, even, you know, if my opponents have high pilot skill guys. So I could try to maximize that, but I don't really like the idea too much. Now this, this right here puts me at 82 points. Now I have enough points for, uh, for another Black Squadron and Outmaneuver, and that would give me five ships, and that would put me at 99. I don't have another Black Squadron card on hand right now. But something about this I just have a feeling that I'm gonna to have to break them up especially if I'm putting Fel's Wrath in and keeping these guys back that Hellrunner's not gonna be utilized I have a feeling it's gonna fall apart and it's just something I'm not really liking this build that much because it's not enough for him so no, I'm not sure about that <clears throat> so back to Kirkanos I still like the idea of having Hellrunner um, I could throw Soontir Fell in. Let's push the limit. Now, here's the idea that I'm just going to go Interceptors, right? What if I get rid of this and I maybe I do a couple of Interceptors with Hellrunner? Have like a little mini swarm, you know, maybe fly them like that. Or, you know, of course, those are cards. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, these are cards, so obviously not the ships, but that's basically the idea. I set... Fell and Fell's Wrath up at front, and Hellrunner and Kirkanos down. Maybe I send Fell this way, flank them, and then kind of fly these guys in like this. Um, that's an idea. How many points are we there? 27 plus 23 plus 18 plus 24. And that gives me 92, and then of course I'd have to put push the limit on Fell. I could probably give him a targeting computer too. That's five more. That gives me three more points, and I could put a hull upgrade on Fell's Wrath. So that would bring me up to 100 points. Uh, now this isn't a bad build. It's you got uh, you've got a decent amount of firepower, but you are very fragile. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one either. All right, round two. I've been thinking it over. Thinking it over. I'm still going to go with Hell Runner. Uh, I like the support there. Speaking of support, let's double it up with support. Colonel Jenden. I don't use shuttles that much, but Jenden has got it going on. All right, he's perfect for this. We can't pass focus, but we can pass target locks. And if I give him ST321, he can start on turn one handing out target locks. He can hand the first one to Kirkanoth. He can hand the second one to Hellrunner. And then maybe we even throw a Black Squadron in there. That's what I'm thinking. This way I can get my four ships, and I'll keep the point cost for these guys down. And then I have more, more to do. Now, if I'm going to do that, I want to advance sensors on here as well. So even if I have to do a stall, I can do it to grab a target lock first, and then <clears throat> and I'll be able to pass it, because I can pass it even if I have stress. So advanced sensors work. Um, and... For now, I'm going to put Vader on here. Um, I like Vader with him. Here, let me slide these down. So I got ST321, Advanced Sensors, and Vader. So the Vader can sometimes seem like a bad choice on with that when I have so much points on Jenden, but I don't plan on actually using it, but I think it has great synergy with Kirkanos. Um, I can have Kirkanos attack first. I can have him 
up to use ev is evade die to add an extra damage onto the roll if I need to. And if and if if then, because Jenden will be shooting at the same speed as Kana, so he can shoot right next. If I need to use Vader to finish somebody off, I have that option. So I have two ships who can optionally add one guaranteed damage. Um, well, I say guaranteed. This one's a little bit less guaranteed, but this one's guaranteed. So I like that. They have good synergy with each other. I think this is the perfect pair. Uh, perfect pair. And then Hellrunner can help them both. But, um, <clears throat> alright. So, but if I want Jenden to survive, I'm thinking of either doing... And I pursuit or engine upgrade. Um, and I pursuit does a little more damage. Engine upgrade does a little more uh, mobility and really makes it shine. So I'm going to go with engine upgrade because I have advanced sensors. Because so I can boost first before I move if I need to. I can actually turn around with that. Um, and then now I have Hellrunner and Black Squad. And right now for points, let me see. I'm at uh, nine. 13 plus 23 plus 24 plus 14 plus 18 that gives me five points to float okay now normally like I said I would do um, predator on here but I, since I have a runner I'll do outmaneuver so I have outmaneuver on the black squadron and <clears> how <throat> runner I, I can pass actions with by sacrificing her action but I can either do that, or I can try out Decoy. And I'm thinking I'm going to try out Decoy in this build. Uh, I think Squad Leader would be better for this build. Um, because giving out an extra action to one of these ships would be really helpful. But uh, the reason I'm going with Decoy is because I haven't used it yet. I, I like the idea of Swarm Tactics, but being... And, and like the meta of today, you can't really fly that tight anymore. And Swarm Tactics is only range one, but Decoy is very similar. Like I'd much rather let one of these guys shoot uh, earlier. Um, and Decoy works at range one to two. So I can be spaced out a little farther with Decoy. And I'm holding a little mini lightsaber right here. So I'm spaced out a little further with Decoy. It'll be fun to try. Uh, I think... I think um, Squad Leader is probably the smarter action here. Just use Hellrunner as a full-blown support ship. Um, but I want her to be able to shoot also. I want her to be able to do some damage as well. So I'm probably going to have her, for the, the way I would fly this, is I'll just have her focus. Um, I'll have, you know, focus, focus, target, lock, evade, as would be their standard actions. And this puts me at exactly 100 points. So I think that's what the uh, that's what I'm decided on for right now. Uh, I'll set it up, and I'll do a... Uh, you know, a quick walkthrough of how it should fly. All right, I'm gonna start this off with just kind of doing simpler maneuvers here. Mostly like twos and threes. So, let's say first turn. I know I'm just going up against the Falcon right now. I'm assuming there'd be other ships, but I'm just kind of focusing on how I would play the first turn out. First turn, Falcon moves. Let's say I'm gonna target lock with advanced sensors before I move. And then I'll do two. I'll do a one actually. Oh, I guess I'd run a two because I can't find my one. So he'll go up. I'll do a two here. I'll do a two here. And a two here. Everybody's still range one. Of Hellrunner. You know, everybody's still range one of each other. But we're out of range of each other. So no shooting. He'll pass his target lock to Kirkanoth. Next turn. Falcon moves up two. And I'm going to do a one here. He'll target lock again. And I'll give that to Black Squadron, who does a two. So you're doing a one. But we got a range one shot. Black Squadron does a two. 
See, I did a one on him this time because then everybody else's twos will line up. Because that large base. All right, so now I managed to get Kirkinos at range two. It's just barely range two, but he's range two, which is the ideal way to shoot the Falcon. So we're passing. Oops, I'll pass his target lock here. Well, I'm using the wrong colors, but alright. So basically now, Black Squadron and Kirkinos have target lock on this guy. Um, uh, he'd have an evade, he'd have a focus. He'd have spent his action already and Hellrunner would have a focus. Um, she could spend decoy and let this guy shoot first. She can shoot last because he's got the target lock. We want to make sure that he gets to shoot. So let's do some shooting. See how much we can take off of the Falcon. First uh, will be this guy because he's eight. So he's got a target lock and he's. Is he range one? No, he is in range two. So, alright, only rolls two. Um, well, so nothing. So we'll spend the target lock and we get one crit. Falcon rolls, one evade. Oh, well, that stunk. Um, next, I'll have Kirkinas go. Range two, three dice. He's got an evade token and a target lock. He'll spend a target lock. And he'll spend his evade to make that three hits, which is pretty good. Falcon rolls one evade, so two shields off the Falcon. We got range one from the shuttle. Two hits. One evade from the Falcon. Falcon's rolling fantastic. And then Hellrunner at range two. Focus, but she rolls perfect. A crit and a hit. And one evade. I've rolled an evade every single time for this guy. But anyway, that was a, that was a pretty good amount of damage. Um, <clears throat> obviously, that won't be enough to take down a Falcon in one shot. So it's not it's not perfect. But even after one thing that's different with this build than some like my last build is it's going to be able to sustain this. This isn't just an alpha strike build. This is a sustainable build. We could have spent him to cause one more. If we had gotten the shields down, we could have spent Vader to cause a crit. <clears throat> if uh, if I had flown this guy, if I was being a little more fancy, I could have flown him to the side, reduced the one evade die, so because of the outmaneuver. Um, Kirkinos' ability is going to work every turn. I just got to keep evading. And, and if he gets down, or if somebody else is shooting first, you can't spend the evade. Um, and then, oh, and I wasn't using Hellrunner's ability on any of them, so it would have been better. That's the biggest problem I have with Hellrunner's, remembering to use, because I don't fly Hellrunner very often, it's remembering to actually re-roll those dice. But, I couldn't do it with a target lock anyway. But, there you go, there you have it. I hope you liked the build. Let me know what you think, if you would make any changes. You know, uh, tell me what you would do differently, and as always, tell me what you want to see next.